Okay, here's our video on graphing functions. So what are functions? Well, functions have a rule. And the function, the rule is that it assigns one x value for one y value. And here's an example. Let's say we had a box, and we've seen this before where we made x and y boxes. Right, that's a y. And if we have an x is 1, 2, and 3, we can find a rule to get y. Let's say we had these numbers. So the function is assigning 1x for 1y, 1x for 1y, 1x for 1y. And here we can see the rule is to multiply by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So here we have a function rule of multiply x by 3. Now since we're multiplying x by 3, we know that the equation could be y equals x times 3. 3x, that could be an equation. So whatever x is, we know what the y is. So x is independent. y depends on x. For example, if x was 9, well, 9 times 3 is 27. Y will be 27. So the X is the input. This is the input, and that's the output. So the input is called the independent variable, like I explained. We get an input. It goes into the function box, our imaginary function box, and we get an output. So again, the, in the input is the X, and the output is the Y. And the y is the dependent variable. The y is the dependent variable. So we can have function tables, like I showed before. Now this one is horizontal, but you can also have a function table like this one, which was vertical. So here's a function table that's horizontal. What do you think the function rule is? How can we get y if we have x? Now the function rule has to be constant. It has to be the same rule for each x. What do you think the function rule is here? And which one is independent and which one is dependent? Well, the x is the input and the y is the output. So the x is the independent variable and the y is the dependent variable. And the function rule here is to divide x by 3. What's 12 divided by 3? 4. 15 divided by 3? 5. 18 divided by 3? 6. And so on. So the function rule here, if we want to get y, we need to divide x by 3. So we just made the equation. And the rule again is divide x by 3. Okay, now there's some terms we need to know. We're going to come across these terms. Linear. When you see the word linear, it just means straight. It's a straight line. So when we're doing linear functions, everything we're doing will create a straight line on a grid. Remember, linear means straight. Now when we take our function boxes, we can graph them on a grid. This is a Cartesian grid, which we have done in the past. And here are the quadrants on the grid. And here we have a straight line, so we know it's linear. Okay, well here's another function box. See if you can find the rule for this function box. So again, the rules could be addition, they could be subtraction, they could be multiplication, they could be division. Well, here we can see it's addition. If you add 3 to x, you'll get y. And it could be written this way also, y equals x plus 3. So negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And negative 1 plus 3 is 2. And 0 plus 3 is 3. And 1 plus 3 is 4. So the function rule is y equals x plus 3. Now we can plot this on a grid. So take graph paper and see if you can plot this function box on a Cartesian grid or a coordinate plane. And we've done the plotting before. Remember, 
x comes first, and x is the horizontal line, and y is the vertical line. So this is y, x, so that's the x-axis, and that's the y-axis. So see if you can plot this function box in the graph. Okay, so again, the first plot we have is negative 2 and 1, and x comes first. So we want negative 2, now let's see if this comes out on the video, but negative 2 is x, and 1 is y. So that's where our first point will be. Negative 2, 1. The next one is negative 1 for x, negative 1 is x, and 2 is y. And that's negative 1, 2. The other one, it says the x is 0, x is 0, and the y is 3. So if x is 0, x would be here, and the y is 3. Put a dot there. And the last one said, well, x was 1, and y was 4. So that's where we would plot them. And if we had, take a straight edge here, if we made a straight line, we have an equation on our grid. The equation we made was y equals x plus 3. So that's the equation on the grid. And this is a linear equation. Linear means straight. Okay, let's look at one where we can do the reverse. What if I gave you the line already on a grid and you had to make the input-output box? How would you do that? Again, notice the line is straight, so it's linear. It should be arrows. The arrows mean it goes on indefinitely in both directions. So see if you can make an input-output box for this, or a function box. Okay, well, here's our input-output box. Right, and remember the input's x, output's y. So as you can see, they're the same. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. Let's look at the grid again. Right, so here's x being 1 and y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. And so on. And even the other way, when x is 0, y is 0. By the way, 0, 0 means the origin. All right, and going the other way when x is negative 1, y is negative 1, and so forth. And we have this straight line, and here's the dots on the line. And what's the equation? Well, the equation was, since they're the same, y equals x. That's the equation. Now let's try one with a word problem. So let's say we had Jeff make $7 an hour mowing lawns. Which one is, so? and here's the equation, right? So instead of using a y now, we're using m, but m is y. And then we have an h for the x. Why are we using h? Well, we're using h for hour. He's making $7 an hour. That's the independent variable. How much he makes an hour is $7. How many hours he works times 7 will give us the amount of money that he'll get at the end of the day or week. So here's the equation. The h this time is the independent variable and the m is the dependent variable. m depends on what h is. So if he works one hour, he'll make seven dollars. See if you can make an input-output box based on this question. Okay, well, this time we have h for x. We know that h is the x, and the y is the m. M is the y. So when, we, when he makes, when he works one hour, he, he makes seven dollars based on the equation, right? We had the equation m equals seven h. Let's see if it works. The rule is multiply h or the independent variable x by what? By seven. Seven h. 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21. So what if he works 10 hours? How much will he make? 7 times 10, 
just plug in the 10 for H, and that's the multiplication symbol. You can see it's 7 times 10, or you can see it's like this. So he'll make $70 if he works 10 hours.